All right, you guys, today we are actually gonna put a wooden veneer kit on my GameCube. I'm super excited. Let's just jump right into it. Super quick story. We're gonna talk about the sponsor of this video and that is Rose Colored Gaming. These guys actually made all of the stands that my Zelda consoles go on. I've just been a fan of them ever since I found them and I will always be a fan of their products. But one thing I've wanted to get into that I have not yet is their wooden veneer kits. I think they look absolutely awesome. They have stuff for Xboxes, even for retro consoles. And today we're gonna put one on my GameCube. So huge thank you to Rose Colored Gaming. Gaming. seriously go check their stuff out they have some of the coolest gear gaming gear that you could ever think of I have never been disappointed with their product so make sure you guys go give them a, a quick look and the link will be in my description you know at first glance I was pretty nervous because this entire thing only came with one sheet of paper for the instructions however it did turn out to be extremely user-friendly so yeah I just laid out all the pieces and let's begin this little tiny build it was actually really fun so I do have a purple GameCube. I realized later that it would look better on a black GameCube. I do have a black GameCube, except I did kind of break it and I had to get this not too long ago, but you know, it is what it is. So the first step is to wipe it down and clean it off with this little alcohol wipe, which, you know, I did find out there's a lot of dust and dirt kind of cracked away in these little crevices, which was kind of nasty, but give it a nice good clean and then you can let it dry and begin these sticky applications, which is pretty nice. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You just take those sticky things off and get to town. So one thing I did really like was these little edges that go around the GameCube, kind of on the more rounded edges. I really like that, kind of just sealing up the end. It looks really nice. How the instructions work is everything is numbered from one to whatever, and then you basically just do it one piece at a time in that order, and it's extremely straightforward and fairly easy. The only thing that's difficult were these giant pieces because things were kind of hard to line up, plus you had like the, the rounded edges that were kind of hard to get where you wanted them, but overall, extremely straightforward and not too bad. I did have to use a little bit of sandpaper because the uh, lid was sticking and so were the buttons a little bit, but sanded them down a little, which did come with the kit, and it worked out just fine. I was actually very surprised with the amount of pieces it was going to take to cover this. I guess you don't really think about how many turns and curves there are on a GameCube. I just kind of figured there'd be, I don't know, enough for a cube, but there's actually quite a bit of just like weird shaped edges and I think they did a really good job of making sure everything fit really nice and neat. I am a huge sucker for detail and this is no short of that. There are tons of awesome little details like how they have the words laser engraved on there, the little dots to signify player one, two, three, and four. I just absolutely love that. They even have GameCube engraved on the top of it. And one little thing I liked a lot more than I thought I would was they made the power button a metallic, silver, shiny looking thing, which actually turned out pretty nice since it's traditionally white, and I just like the nice little detail they did. Also for the open button, they added the engraved little rings around it, another nice little piece of detail that I just really appreciate. And from here, you just keep clipping along, undoing stickers, sticking stuff down, and it's starting to actually look really, really nice. They do have a bunch of pieces for the bottom, which I thought was kind of interesting considering you don't really ever see the bottom of a GameCube. However, I totally like it and I totally like all the details and the engraving they put on everything. The only thing that was a little difficult was this massive piece as it was kind of hard to line up and then the little flaps that go over the edges were hard to line up as well. But you know, a little bit of trial and error, unstick and stick back on and not too bad and you just keep plugging away. Here's one of my favorite details so far was this little digital ATI sticker, just another little metallic piece they put in there. And that way everything is covered up and dude, it's starting to look awesome. A couple more pieces left. We are officially in the home stretch, but seriously, make sure you guys go check out Rose Color Gaming. Some of the coolest gaming products I've ever used in my entire life. It, they're awesome, you guys. And it looks way better than I ever thought it would, pun intended. Man, look at this thing, a wooden veneer game cube. Okay, that was actually a lot easier than I expected, but this is the GameCube on the front view, kind of like the three-quarter view, which you would maybe see on a shelf. I think it looks so freaking cool. I mean, they didn't have anything for the buttons, obviously, because it would be probably too thick to get the game, the memory card in there, but wow, look at this thing. I mean... I kind of wish they would have had something for the handle, but once again, you know, this is behind the wall. Nobody really sees the back of it. I mean, nobody really even sees the bottom, but I just love all the detail. One of my favorite things of the entire build was definitely 
this digital ATI sticker that they just kind of put in there. I think this thing overall looks way good. It was extremely user friendly. I mean, the instructions were easy, the peel was easy. I wish personally I would have taken a little bit more time to make sure I got everything nice and flush. I mean, you can kind of see the little gap here where you can see a little bit of purple. That's just because I didn't, I don't know if I rushed it or if I'm just like very antsy to get these done, but I wish I would have taken a little more time personally, but man, I think these look so good. Seriously, make sure you guys go check out Rose Colored Gaming. They have veneer kits from anything to like a Game Boy, even a PS4, different colors of wood. And thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. Oh my goodness. Seriously, you cannot tell me that, that does not look wicked awesome. Make sure you guys go like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video.